Now we report on Madison Memorial as Coach Casey Hoff joins us for a Spartan Report. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing good. Thanks for having me on. Oh, you're welcome. Can you give us a recap of your season and some of the highlights that we've seen? Yeah, uh, we had a great season this year. Um, we were able to win two Invitationals. We went to the Madison West Invitational here in Madison and won that. And also went up to the Smiley Invitational in Wausau and won that. Um, had us really excited going into the championship season, which is very competitive in this area. Uh, we finished city runner-ups this year and took fourth place at the Big 8 Conference Championships, where our JV also won the Big 8 Conference Championship there. And then took second place at the area sectional, earning our 16th state trip um, to the WIA State Championships in Wisconsin Rapids, uh, where the boys finished seventh place this year, um, one of four Big 8 teams that was in the top 10 at the state meet. And what is your outlook for next season coming off a seventh place finish at state? Uh, we have a really strong group of guys that are coming back. Um, four of our five scorers um, this year were juniors and will be back with us next year. Uh, Luke Vandermeer, Casey Gregorich Trevor, uh, Jonas Beats, and Jack Zweifel will all return and give us a nice core group um, that have that experience from that state meet this year. And hopefully some of our young talent and um, some of our other guys will put in the hard work this offseason to really um, help improve upon that seventh place finish uh, at the state meet. Ah, oh, you bet. And you mentioned that it's a large team. How do you manage such a large and varied ability amongst your team? Yeah, we have uh, 67 guys on our team this year, and that was actually down in numbers a little bit. Um, I have two assistant, uh, excuse me, two uh, assistant coaches that help out, um, Carl Richters and Drew Slemkis. Um, they help really um, make an extension of me and be able to help guys um, wherever we are in our run. And then we had six captains this year, and uh, it was really needed to be able to kind of keep track of the different groups. Um, on any given day, we're running between three miles and nine miles, and those 60-some guys are spread out amongst that group. And so it takes a lot of organization, and we, uh, we ask a lot of our high school athletes and have a lot of high expectations of them, and they've really lived up to being able to kind of be a part of the, uh, the culture of success and doing the hard work that it takes to be successful. And what is it like to have both boys and girls programs so successful? Do you feed off each other? Yeah, it was fun this year to have both um, the boys and girls programs get to the, the state tournament. Um, it's only the third time in school history um, that that's ever happened. And um, it was really exciting to see Coach Chelvold's girls team um, competing well. They were at state last year, um, made it back for a second year in a row. Um, and so we really feed off that energy. Our, a lot of our boys went down and watched the girls compete at the uh, state championships last year, and that was a good experience for them. Uh, it had been uh, since 2009 since our, our boys team had been at the state meet. So getting there to watch the girls team really got them excited last year and wanted to have them also compete at the state meet this year. And so having both the boys and girls team there was fun to be able to experience that at the same time, having both teams be so successful. Yeah, that's terrific. And how does the strength of all the area runners uh, affect your program? Yeah, as I mentioned, we, we took fourth at our conference meet, and um, a lot of times that, that's not a very strong position, but we had six teams in the Big 8 this year that were uh, ranked in the top 20 at some point in time. So going against that competition on a regular basis really makes it so that um, our boys are, are ready to compete against some of the best teams in the state on a regular basis. Um, we have um, not only one of the toughest team competitions, but some of the toughest individuals. Um, uh, Finn Gessner from Madison La Follette this year was the individual state champion and led his uh, La Follette team to the state runner-up finish in that. So our guys going against them, that team all year long and seeing them at invitationals and city meets and conference meets really makes it so that they know how to compete against the best in the state. Um, we know that if we can be competitive in our conference, we're gonna be competitive in the state. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for coming out, Coach. We really enjoy your time. Thanks for having me again.